The World Red Cross Day is observed worldwide to inspire and promote humanitarian activities that are carried out by the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, and national societies which are its members. This day is celebrated on May 8. The day focuses on the need for protecting the lives as well as the dignity of victims of any armed conflicts and all situations of violence. The seven fundamental principles recognized during the World Red Cross Day are impartiality, humanity, independence, neutrality, voluntary, and universality and unity. We are now being joined by Aliu Dawobe, the spokesperson, Red Cross. Good morning, Mr. Aliu, and thank you for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. Happy World Red Cross Day to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, happy to you too. How, how significant is it to mark the World Red Cross Day? Okay, uh, the World Red Cross Day is actually something very, very important for the Red Cross in general, the, I mean the Red Cross family. Uh, so everywhere where in the world and every year we celebrate the World Red Cross Day. Uh, today marks that day. Uh, in other days, we have a lot of activities that we do uh, trying to support communities in hygiene promotion, in the, the, the disseminating information that has to do with our movement partners, uh, the Red Cross family all over the world. Uh, this year is something different because uh, a lot of issues are, are on the ground, especially COVID-19 has affected this. So uh, we have a different way of uh, celebrating this, uh, this day, this year. The seven fundamental principles of recognized during the World Red Cross Day are impartiality, humanity, independence, neutrality, voluntary and universality, and also unity. How can we have these ideals, you know, imbibed in society? Yes, uh, these uh, principles are actually principles that uh, the movement partners, uh, when, when I talk about movement partners, I talk about uh, all the Red Cross family abide by these uh, seven fundamental principles. Uh, uh, neutrality means uh, that we, we, we try uh, to, 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 to meet the needs of all people without uh, taking sides. This is key to us because it helps to, prov to provide us with the security and access that we need. Uh, impartiality means when we are giving support to people, it means we don't look at the color of their faces or their religion or, or any of their background. We give this support because there is the need for us to give this support. So uh, independence means, uh, yeah, we are an independent organization, but that doesn't mean that we don't have the respect for authorities, local authorities, state and federal authorities. We do respect that a lot. But then uh, we, we are an independent organization that takes decisions based on uh, the needs we see on ground. So uh, a few of these principles uh, that uh, uh, you have just mentioned, the seven of them, I have just uh, explained three. So these are some of the basics uh, that we talk about when we talk about fundamental principles of uh, the Red Cross and Red Crescent movement. I'm aware normally every year you guys, uh, you, you hold events across across the, the country. But now that COVID-19 is disrupted holding events, what are the plans of various programs and events scheduled for today? Yes, uh, like I mentioned earlier on, uh, this year is a different year because uh, a lot of uh, activities are not going to take place. Uh, so globally, we celebrate this year by mainly applauding the healthcare workers and humanitarian actors that are in, at the forefront of this COVID-19. Uh, healthcare professionals, humanitarian actors are always out there to see that the needs of the people have been met. So they are exposed to most of this uh, risk that are on ground, and they are also uh, susceptible to this disease. So what we agreed worldwide to celebrate this year is mainly to give them a clap so communities uh, and volunteers all over the world and offices are asked uh, to give them an applause so that uh, they, they know that we are, uh, yes, we are there for, for, for them, supporting them, uh, despite the fact that they are taking a lot of risk trying to see that we stay alive. Finally, Mr. Liu, um, the whole world globally has been ravaged by COVID-19. Do you want to tell us more about some of the operational activities and interventions of the Red Cross 
in, in recent times given COVID-19? Yeah, uh, I will be very specific uh, in Nigeria, okay. what we are doing in Nigeria. COVID-19 has actually affected uh, our activities severely, just like it has affected everybody's activities. So as an organization, the International Committee of the Red Cross will first have to abide by the health guidelines of uh, the, the federal ministries of health, uh, the NCDC, to be able to uh, to, to, to continue with its work. At the same time, looking at uh, the needs out there, uh, especially people mostly affected by conflict and violence, you are going to see that the, the coming of COVID-19 does not stop the needs they have. Uh, rather, it increases the needs. So our activities will have to be much more uh, adapted so we were able to adapt our activities based on the health guidelines stipulated by the Nigerian government authorities uh, in terms of social distancing and wearing of masks. So in offices, we make sure that everybody has a mask on him. And uh, in our activities, we also try to see how we adopt and adapt uh, some of these uh, guidelines of social distancing. Usually we have uh, activities uh, that support people with giving them uh, their basic needs, which is like food. Uh, when you are doing these distributions, you find uh, hundreds of thousands of people uh, coming in to be supported. Now, uh, the situation has to change because social distancing, uh, health care uh, services and hygiene promotion will have to come in. So uh, it has affected our activities, but not that we are going to, we are stopping our activities. We do this, but then we do it now in smaller groups. Uh, smaller groups that will, we will be able to manage, uh, to respect social distancing, to, to, to support in, in hygiene promotion in terms of uh, uh, I mean, hand washing and so on and so forth. Uh, this is in terms of distribution of food. Other activities that we do, uh, of course, in, in Maiduguri, for example, where most of our operations are, you have uh, a lot of people that are affected uh, that come to our, our medical surgical unit that uh, our surgical experts help to see that they've been provided with medical support. So now we have to be most, much more cautious about this to be able to see that uh, they, 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 are, they are screened to make sure that they, they don't have uh, COVID-19 or if they do, then they are taken to the, the, the stipulated uh, places. So what we do in, the, in Maiduguri is to try to, to have a triage center where people are screened on uh, their body temperatures first, and then if the blood temperatures, if this health personnel certify that they are not uh, sick, then we will, I mean, uh, admit them into the medical surgical ward so that uh, they, they could be attended to. Also, bed spacing. What we do is to try to see that we have spread the bed spacing. So a, a, a ward that is supposed to take like 10 beds is now taking like five because we have to space between the beds to give that right. uh, social distancing in terms of, uh, of, 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 of their health facilities. Again, on health, we've been supporting more than 18 primary health centers in Maiduguri. A lot of needs in, in terms of health because some of these health infrastructures have been ravaged over, over the years and are no more uh, in existence or perhaps they are uh, been affected severely. Most of the health personnel are no more there. So uh, the ICRC supports in, in terms of this with drugs and also personnel to be able to support women and children who are out there and have uh, uh, a lot of needs in terms of health. All right. Red Cross spokesperson Aliu Dawobe, thank you very much for joining us. And one more time, happy World Red Cross Day to you. Thank you very much for having me too.